using the keyboard. The image below is that of a keyboard with certain keys marked out. Function keys are special purpose keys whose function depends on the software being used. These are the keys on the top. Until you know more about these keys, you should not use them. Cursor keys are used to move the cursor up, down, left or right. These are four arrow keys to the lower right. You may need to use these keys in some of the application software you will use later. For now, you should just remember that these are the cursor keys. Use the backspace key, the key with the backward pointing arrow or the del key to delete whatever you have typed. If the numlock key is pressed, the set of keys on the right hand of the cursor keys act like a calculator. If this is the case, the numlock light on the top right of the keyboard will be on. The rest of the keys act like they would on a typewriter. If you keep shift pressed while pressing another key, say J, capital J will be typed. If the other key you press has two characters on it, for example, dash and question mark, pressing shift while pressing the key will lead to the second character getting typed. Pressing caps lock locks the keyboard into shift mode until you press caps lock again. It would be best to experiment with the keyboard when you start learning word, notepad or any other word processing application later in this course.